Hi everybody, today I'm getting a very highly requested video done which is showing you how I clean out this hutch and run. Now, bear in mind I am outside, there's going to be a little bit of background noise but I hope that you don't mind. Okay, for this video I have decided to narrate this one and as you know, in a lot of my routine and cleaning videos I just edit them and put music on but I thought I'd have a little bit of a change and allow myself to go into a bit more detail and explain things on exactly what I'm doing because sometimes just the editing and music can be a bit confusing and you can get a bit lost. So whenever I clean Rosie out she comes in her exercise pen. I'm not sure on the measurements because this was given to me so it just keeps her out of the way because she does like to get involved with things and it can take a lot longer when Rosie is trying to eat the brush or she's trying to dig everything out of the fresh clean hutch or something like that so um, she likes it yeah so I always put Rosie's hutch on quite a high level so I always put it in the corner on the wall and it just allows me to get into the places that are a little bit harder to get to so I can be on a low level that can be on a high level and I can just get everything out quite easily. I make sure that the door is open so that I don't have to faff around with it later on. So obviously the only thing that I have to do right now is check that there's no toys inside and get to work with my dustpan and brush. Okay so when I am getting everything out of Rosie's hutch I like to save a little bit of straw that might be left over but for this time I'm just going to chuck everything in the bin because it's just in need of a big big deep clean. is off I take out the slabs there's two slabs inside as you can see and I'm just going to take them out and give them a good sweep down on both sides and pretty soon I'll be washing both of those down so I'm just getting rid of any excess bedding that might be left down and everything is gone the bedding is out of the hutch I thoroughly wash the hutch with boiling hot water and fairy liquid and I wash the slabs the base of the hutch the outside of the hutch even the door and then I disinfect so I thoroughly scrub the slabs even the bottom of them as well as the top here I am just scrubbing the base of the hutch and all of the walls and the upper part of it as well. And then I'm also moving on to the outside. I'm also getting rid of all of this excess bedding that has been caught up. So I'm just getting rid of all of that. It can be a little bit tricky because it does rain on this hutch so all the bedding kind of like clumps together but just thoroughly scrubbing that out of water as well. And lastly I am just washing the door. Okay, so while I just wait for everything to clean, what I do next is I clean out Rosie's run. Rosie's run gets so, so dirty very easily and it attracts a lot of flies, especially in summer, so I have to keep it as clean as possible. So I'm just going to take all the toys out, brush up and just get rid of any excess bedding that she has kicked out. So once I have removed all of Rosie's toys, what I do is I grab a big brush and sweep all excess bedding and droppings into a pile and then of course I make sure to collect them all up and put them all in the bin. And there we go, I think I'm just about finished on there. Okay so finally the slabs, the door and the hutch are fully clean so I can go ahead put the slabs back and pop some bedding inside. inside you can go ahead and put in accessories like litter trays, hay, food bowls, a couple of toys and there we go the hutch is finally clean. Okay so all I have to do now is attach the run and hutch back together and Rosie can go back inside. just inspecting what her hutch is like I hope she likes it she's gone inside the bedroom so thank you to everyone for requesting this video I hope you enjoyed a little bit of a change of me kind of like narrating things if you like it that way then just comment below or if you prefer the music edity type videos then just comment that below so of course if you have any more requests again you can leave those below if you want to and 
all links will be left in the description. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye!